Let's review a bit of what we know regarding time rate of consolidation. Let's use this profile. Here we have a clay layer, ground surface, the soil is saturated, the clay layer lies on sand, and we have a sandy field that we're going to place on top of the clay layer. This layer, therefore, is going to consolidate. Now, we know that during consolidation, the excess pore pressure will vary in time and it will vary in space, meaning with depth along the layer. So let's compare the excess pore pressures for these two points. Let's say for a time of 50 days after field placement. The excess pore pressure at point A is larger than the excess pore pressure at point B. And the reason is that point B is closer to its nearest drainage boundary than is point A. Given that this excess pore pressure is larger than this one, then we can say that the degree of consolidation at point A, which is 1 minus UEA over delta sigma, is smaller than the degree of consolidation at point B. Clearly, this means that the soil at point B at this time has consolidated more than the soil at point A. So what we recognize with this is that at any given time, the degree of consolidation at a given point is different than the degree of consolidation at the next point. And so the degrees of consolidation at different points are different. That is true, but we can define an average degree of consolidation for the entire layer. The average degree of consolidation is proportional to the time factor. This average degree of consolidation, by definition, is expressed as the settlement at a given time, meaning the level of squeezing, the amount or the distance that the layer squeezes at a given time, divided by the ultimate settlement. So what is the proportionality between these two parameters? Here's the table. So for any given value of the average degree of consolidation, for example, 40%, we can get the associated value of the time factor. The average degree of consolidation tends to 1 as time tends to infinity. We use these values to answer questions like the following. What is the settlement when the layer has consolidated 30%? Another question, what is the settlement 50 days after field placement? Another question, how long does it take the layer to consolidate 40%? Another question, how long does it take the layer to settle 0.35 meters? So let's do a few examples. 